We're asked to develop the parabolic equation that describes the following curve with a PVI of 28 plus 38.83, and also determine the high point station and elevation. So this is the curve we're looking for on our design plans. We're going to start with our entrance grade. G1 is 5%. G2 is our exit grade, negative 8%. And then we're looking for the curve connecting the PVC and PVT. I'm going to zoom in on this curve information a little bit closer. We have a station of our PVI 28 plus 38.83 with an elevation of 1,088.94. The length is 585 feet, which is 5.85 stations. We can determine the PVC station, which is 25 plus 46.33, which is half the length of the curve before the PVI. We can also determine the elevation of the PVC, which is the elevation of the PVI minus G1 times half the length, so 1,088.94 minus 5 times 2.925 gives us a PVC elevation of 1,074.315. We can also determine the station of the PVT. We're going to add half the length to our PVI so that equals 31 plus 31.33. Now we can work on building the parabolic equation for this particular curve. We're going to plug in the values we know. y equals negative 8 minus 5 over 2 times 5.85 times x squared plus 5x plus 1074.315. We can simplify this in our parabolic equation, which is part of what we're asked for is y equals negative 1.111 times x squared plus 5 times x plus 1,074.315. Now we can look for the location, station, and elevation of our high point. This is x equals negative g1 times l over g2 minus g1. We're going to add in our values here, so negative 5 times 5.85 over negative 8 minus 5 equals 2.25 stations. So this means our high point occurs 2.25 stations from our PVC. So if we add this to our PVC station, we get the overall station location of our high point that occurs at 27 plus 71.33. We can plug our value of x for our high point into our parabolic equation. So y equals negative 1.111 times 2.25 squared plus 5 times 2.25 plus 1,074.315 gives us an elevation of our high point of 1,079.94.